Hi everyone. Today I was wondering of discussing about laparoscopic hydrotubation. In my previous video, I have discussed about HSG, which is hysterosalpingogram. Today I am moving on to laparoscopic hydrotubation. So what is laparoscopic hydrotubation? So normally as a baseline, because infertility or subfertility is becoming a massive issue in the world. One of the tests that we do uh, in couples who are trying for babies is to assess the patency of the fallopian tubes. So one basic test that we all do is HSG, which I have already discussed. If there is a problem in HSG or if there is a problem with the tubal uh, patency, then we move on to laparoscopic hydrotubation. Laparoscopy is a simple keyhole surgery where we introduce camera into the pelvic or abdominal cavity. We put uh, a little camera is inserted through the belly button and maybe one or two holes on either side of the belly button. The tummy is filled with gas and then cameras are inserted to view and visualize what is inside the pelvic cavity. So by doing a laparoscopy hydrotubation, you get additional other information too. So you get to see how the uterus looks like, how are the fallopian tubes, how are the ovaries, whether there are any adhesions, whether there are any unwanted patches or uh, bleeding issues outside like endometriosis, all these other additional valuable information is gathered when we do a laparoscopy. So it's generally done under general anesthesia. So once the woman is fully anesthetized and relaxed, once she is in this position as I explained, dye is introduced from the vaginal end. So dye it goes into the uterus through the vagina and the cervix and then enters the uterine cavity and spills over from the tubes which you can directly visualize. And at the same time, if there was a problem at the dye entering or exiting from the uterine cavity, then they can be addressed then and there. For example, if we find one of the tubes that are blocked, then maybe you can attempt to unblock or recanalize the tube. If there was ballooning or if there is a tubal blockage at the end of the tube, at the fimbrial end of the tube, then you can attempt to unblock it. So there are other things that happen when we do a laparoscopic hydrotubation. Also, we can couple this hydrotubation with either ovarian drilling, sometimes a DCOLysis or sometimes even treating or diagnosing of endometriosis. So we can do all these other things when we do laparoscopic hydrotubation because lots of couples go through this stressful journey of subfertility in their lives and the numbers are only increasing day by day and every little test that we perform is a bigger stress for the couple. So as a couple you need to understand the pros and cons of the test and the outcome of the test before you embark on doing the test. So when we do laparoscopic hydrotubation, as I explained, you have so many benefits uh, to achieve when we do a test just to achieve the patency of the tubes. At the same time, this is a simple daycare procedure. Though it's done the general anesthesia, you only have a one or two little holes, five millimeter holes on your tummy. So you can go home on the same day. You can be okay at home with simple painkillers. It's very rare to have an infection following laparoscopic hydrotubation. So it's a simple daycare thing that can be done to achieve a lot of valuable information for couples who are trying for baby. Watch my videos, like my videos, share them and if you have any queries or questions please ask them and I will be happy to answer them for you. Thank you.